Another quotient rule problem tonight. Um, this one, really simple. f of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. Um, let's go ahead and write out the quotient rule um, so that we can see the formula that we're looking at. It's um, d of x times f of x over g of x equals f prime of x g of x minus um, f of x g prime of x over g of x squared. Okay, so this is the quotient rule. And all it means is um, that we're taking the derivative, that's what the d stands for, of a function with uh, f of x on the top, g of x on the bottom. So in, in our case, f of x is x plus 1, and g of x is x minus 1. And so in order to take the derivative of this function, we can use this rule um, and apply this formula. So we'll actually say the derivative of um, the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom divided by um, the bottom squared. So let's go ahead and apply this formula so we can see what, what we mean. We'll say f prime of x um, for the derivative equals, and we take the derivative of the top, so the derivative of x plus 1, which is just 1, times the bottom, which is x minus 1, minus um, the top, x plus 1, times the derivative of the bottom, which the derivative of x minus 1 is just 1, so times 1, and then we divide by um, the bottom, x minus 1, squared. We square it because that's here in the formula. So we say x minus 1, getting that from there, and then squared. So um, now that we've applied the formula, all we need to do is go ahead and simplify this function to get the final answer. So um, let's go ahead and distribute the 1 here. We, we, um, we multiply 1 by x minus 1 and we just get uh, x minus 1. And then if we distribute the 1 here, uh, we'll actually end up with minus x, and then, because we have a negative sign here, a minus 1 as well. So that's the top, and then the bottom we leave as x minus 1 squared. So this is actually going to turn out to be, we have x minus x, so those are going to cancel. And then we have negative 1 minus 1 is actually going to be a negative 2. So we're looking at negative 2 over x minus 1 squared. Um, and that's actually our final answer. All we needed to do was apply the quotient rule to our function um, to get uh, this function here. And then um, distribute these, these terms combine like terms and simplify, and this here, negative 2 over x minus 1 squared is our final answer.